Hey everyone, this is Greg with Spotted Tongue Woodworking. This is my white oak round table. It is all done. It's getting ready for delivery. And I just wanted to take a minute and go over everything that went into this build. Now the top is finished with Rubio Monaco in chocolate, you know, very, very nice, very beautiful. Uh, you know, Rubio Monaco, it's a hard wax oil. It provides a molecular bond to the wood, water resistant, stain resistant, um, easily repairable. So that, you know, very nice color, very rich color throughout the whole top. The bottom is also Rubio Monaco. Um, this is a butterfly leaf dining table. So what that means is using the geared, table slides, extension table slides from Osborne Wood Products. What that means is you can pull one side, both sides open. The butterfly leaf, you know, you see it a lot in older furniture, is the butterfly leaf, it just folds into the tabletop. And the top poses like that, you know, locking mechanism on the top there, you know, all very traditional joinery, uh, bridle joints, mortise and tenon for the table structure itself, sliding dovetail for the bottom shelf of this table. This table is unique in that the base has a bottom shelf to, for additional storage. Um, you know, solid white oak all the way through. Uh, very, very pleased with how this product came out. Um, is we're about to take it apart, load it up for delivery. I just wanted to go over it and just explain just a little bit of what I really like about this project. So with this project, um, I had to figure out the butterfly leaf itself, the butterfly leaf mechanism there's not a whole lot of literature out there on how to actually assemble a butterfly leaf or to how to put it in a table. Uh, Guy Wood, Guy's Woodshop, I think it's just Guy's Shop now on YouTube, he has a nine video series on building a butterfly leaf table. And I took a lot of inspiration from him. But to figure out in my very unique case on how the table needed to go together and how the leaf needed to be placed inside the table is very... Uh, it was quite interesting, you know, very, very, uh, not complicated, but I definitely learned a lot on how this all went together. So here we are, butterfly leaf. I have my folding mechanism in here, custom made hardware to get a, you know, a nice clean match for the rest of the project. And the key with the folding table is for the leaf to be able to flip out and flip in without hitting anything that's going on inside the table. And the way I figured out where I needed my pivot to be in relation to the, the parts of the table is that I found my center point, I found my edge, and I found, no, I found my center point, and I found exactly where I wanted my end to end up. You know, because this, this butt part here, you know, needs to clear this brace that runs across the bottom of the table. And so what we did is I found that, found that, and then right at that center point is where I found where I wanted my pivot mechanism to be. After you know mounting the pivot mechanism, I flipped it over and I placed the leaf right on top, right where I wanted it to be in relation to the tabletop. And you know, I got it all lined up and just screwed it in through the bottom. You know, so the math itself isn't very hard. You find your center, you find the, you know, the maximum distance of where the end of the leaf can be, and you put your pivot right in the middle of that. That's how you put a butterfly leaf uh, insert in the table. Obviously, when it flips over and when it flips up, when it flips up, it needs to be flush with the top, so you also need to figure out you know, the height of the mechanism itself, but Truly and honestly, once you kind of figure out that simple math, it's not extremely difficult. It's just the 
the the act, just the process of actually making it, that is not the hardest part, but yeah, that's the hardest part, is actually doing it.